Oh, she's been watching him too with uh, with that hat on. That's an invisibility cloak. Hey everyone, how's it going? Noxadar here, and welcome back to another reaction in Percy Jackson and the Olympians. With the debut of Percy Jackson and the Olympians on Disney+, Plus, we actually had a two-episode premiere. I'm really much looking forward to this, as you can tell by my attire here. I literally just hit stop recording and stop rec or start recording. So, I'm not going to pretend like there's been this incredible passage of time, even though there might be for you who's watching this up on the YouTube channel. So, with that... We're gonna go ahead and get right to our next reaction. <laughs> okay. That'd be a little weirded out. Where am I? You drool when you sleep. When you feel absolutely confused and someone gives you even more confusing things to chew on. Everybody loves a non-direct response, huh? It really happened. That is both awesome and sad. Did you see what happened to my mom? I did. I'm sorry. My job was to protect you, to get you here safely. Maybe if I had told you the truth a little sooner, your mom would still Please. be here. Please. Stop. I know this isn't easy, but I want to talk about it. I don't. It really does feel like we're on Joseph Campbell's hero's journey. It was so important I get here because my father's a god. So I'm going to go find him. Yeah, but it isn't that... Simple. I mean, Grover, for him, it is. It is that simple. Dad's a god, gotta find him. I don't know if he's gonna find him at a camp, though. I'm Percy Jackson. Uh, I'm new here. Peter Johnson is here! Okay. That isn't really my name. Mr. D, this is uh, Percy Jackson. Yeah, Grover. I heard him the first time. But did you? Okay. <laughs> I like that snarky reply. The D is for Dionysus. That's Dionysus. That's cool. My middle name is kind of patterned after Dionysus. I, I found out when I looked into it, Dennis. I think my dad may be around here somewhere. I don't know how to ask him. I don't, I don't even know his name. I really like this actor. Oh, dad? no. Yes, Peter. It's Percy. Exactly. In the galley, there is a bottle of 1985 Chateau Aubryon. Here you go fetch that for me. Even if Percy uh, uh, was... Uh, but Grover, quiet, please. This is a nice moment. Don't ruin it. So Grover doesn't know who his father is, because clearly he'd be, he'd be putting a stop on this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Percy. Mr. Bruner? Uh, Mr. Bruner's real name is Chiron. Mr. D is not your father. Thankfully, someone says it. Actually, having the reveal of Mr. Is it Br Brumer? Bruner? As uh, Chiron is like really cool because I myself, my Zodiac. Oh, by the way, that kind of feels like something we really should have covered in the first episode. What is your Zodiac? Is that uh, something you look into? Uh, mine is a Sagittarius. I'm an adventurer, a wanderer, a free spirit, a free thinker. And. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's why I had such an affinity um, for Percy's uh, teacher right here. Uh, because, it, yeah, it turns out it's Chiron. And uh, have a lot in common with that. That's pretty cool. Amazing. Zeus has forbidden him from consuming alcohol. Wait a minute. The Greek god of Percy. wine and revelry can't have Walk with me. wine? And we'll start again. This is a sacred valley, Percy. Wow, that would be so wild, just being in North America and coming across Greek ruins. Or at least architecture, I guess. Not necessarily ruins. So there's something I gotta tell you. I lost your pen sword thingy. Hopefully that wasn't your only one. Check your pocket. No, I I lost it the other night. Check your pocket. You really gonna tell a centaur no? <laughs> Unless you surrender it, it will always find its way back to you. Magical objects don't obey the physical laws of the ordinary world. I love that this character is our guide to the magical universe. Like I said, he has such a rich, warm tone and just 
There is a fatherly energy to him. He feels like the classical mentor. Twelve cabins. The twelve Olympian gods. Each cabin is home to the children that god has claimed. You haven't been claimed, Percy. I like the way they build this up. What am I even doing here? There's no place for me here. There is a place for you. Hermes, god of travelers. His cabin is home to both his own children and the unclaimed. That's cool. I like that there is lore built around that. It's not just the unclaimed baggage section. This is Percy Jackson. Mm. I trust you will see to whatever he needs. You can see how enthusiastic everyone was to just jump right to helping him out. That's the kid. I think he's the one who killed the Minotaur. Oh, that's true. He'd have a bit of a if reputation. You want to give me a hard time, just do it tomorrow. I can't do any more today. I heard what happened to you on the hill, and I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. I know what you're going through. Believe me. I'm Luke. Well, that's good, making friends already that aren't 24-year-old satyrs. Oh, this music is so good. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You're too hard on yourself, Grover. You always have been. What an awesome, like, conceptualization. It's, like, very heavily stylized, but also yet very, like, form function at the same time. Really impressed with these, the visualizations right here. Sorry to interrupt. Is now an okay time to talk? No. Yes, go ahead. I've never seen a Minotaur crush a human to death, but I just, I assumed that they'd get really squishy, but she evaporated like a monster would. But doesn't he deserve to know the truth? Rowan, the truth can be very dangerous. I left you here, left you with Nothing. I know how you feel. You want what's been taken from you. You want justice. That would be pretty terrifying. So is that... Is that the ferryman of the River Styx? Or is that Hades himself? I don't know. I don't want to know. I mean, I want to know. But not, not by you. Of the show. Hermes is my father. That doesn't matter. We're all on the same team here. Demigods have always fought for glory. They used to call it Kleos. It's like this stuff that attaches itself to your name, makes it bigger, scarier, more important. Hey. Oh, oh hey. Oh, look at her Kleos. Or whatever you said. So this is the kid who killed the Minotaur. Like you want attention around here, dummy? You better be ready for it when it comes. <laughs> Why don't they mess with you? They know better. Luke's the strongest swordsman I can. So they leave you alone because glory. So if I get glory, Clarice won't mess with me either? Exactly. Well, people think I'm a big deal. Oh, well, sort of. But... And my dad's got no choice but to claim me. You can't force the gods to do anything. It would make it harder for him to pretend I don't exist, right? Maybe. Look great. Where do we start? Well, at least now he has some direction here. A good source of glory are feats of skill. So we gotta figure out what you're good at. I've never done anything like this before, and it looks super dangerous. Yeah, you never killed a Minotaur before either. So you did. That's fair. He's got a good point right there. I wouldn't. <laughs> the Walker Scobell's comedic timing is really, really advanced. Should I try again? No! No! no. no. We're gonna find the thing that you're good at. I know it. Our turn. My turn for what? Burnt offerings. You burn what you'll miss the most. And they know you really mean what you're about to say, so they listen. Oh, so like, his candy? I, th I assume it's candy. Hi, Mom. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I hope you can hear me. I've made some friends here. Real friends. You know, for everything he's been through, he's rather emotionally mature. Ignoring me is one thing, but he doesn't get to ignore you. Yo, let's go. I'm gonna make him see me. I'm gonna make him see us both. 
it's good that he's at least driven by something. I was kind of wondering how he was going to be in camp and find his father, but I guess it makes sense if he's going to bring his father to him. Hey, guys. Oh, Can't hi. sleep, huh? <laughs> Every new kid shows up here and they think they're special. Tell me you made it all up about the Minotaur, and I'll let you go. I didn't make anything up. <laughs> A swirly? <laughs> Uh, that's wild. <laughs> what a wild way to find out you have a connection to Poseidon. I can explain. <laughs> no, you can't. Capture the flag at Camp Half-Blood. Serious business. It's time. The game begins. Such an interesting just lore and background. As always, there will be no maiming and no killing. I trust these rules will be respected. Today feel like a winning kind of day to you. I'll see you on the other side. Company! It's pretty neat. Move out! Now you, Sunshine. You're with me. I feel like Sunshine's a pretty fitting name. It's just a ray of sunshine everywhere he goes. Nothing bad happens, even though he spent most of the first episode standing in the rain. Oh boy. <laughs> I get it. Okay, you're better at this than me. But I need this to go well today. I can't really get into it, but I need my father to see it go well. Don't worry. You'll do great. Do great? Do what? Great. Oh, has she been watching him too with, uh, with that hat on? That's an invisibility cloak. <laughs> I do like that they were actually going full physicality with this and not like... The way people like bounce swords off of each other to make it look like fighting. When it's time, he's gonna be ready. I know it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Percy, no. What are you doing? I'm glad we're having fun in the war games. Wildly appropriate, yeah. Flags that way. It's not here. We know. Yeah, glory's fine. Revenge is more fun. I'm sorry, revenge? Oh, for the toilet water? Yeah, that seems appropriate. <laughs> I'm actually not interested in maiming or killing you, believe it or not. I just want you to admit you're a fraud. It's almost like she hasn't calculated what if she's wrong. Dude, he's getting straight teamed by the other team. <laughs> I don't want to maim you. I'm just going to take you a death by a thousand cuts here. Oh, clever. They got him by the water again. Well, his attitude completely changed. Does he get power from being by a source of water? Was that the plan all along? Use Percy as bait? Were you here the whole time? Yes. You were here the whole time and you didn't help me? Yes. Yeah, she's helping you now, dude. I'm sorry. What is wrong with you? Oh. So he does kind of like become empowered. Your dad's calling. Percy Jackson, son of Poseidon. Oh, wow. For months now, Zeus and Poseidon have been locked in a dispute over the Master Bolt, and it has been stolen. Zeus is looking for a thief, sees a forbidden child claimed by his jealous brother. It doesn't look good for you, kid. That is your quest. That's pretty heavy for a 12 year old. <laughs> there is a third brother who has always deeply resented them both. Sadie's. Yes. I have news. Rover. Sally Jackson is alive. Oh. It looked like she died, but it only looked that way in the underworld. That's where they want you to go too, isn't it? There you go. That's all the reason he needs. If you can find her there, I think you can bring her back. When do we leave? 
Wow. I love the way that this episode build toward the quote unquote the quest. Um, I talked about how the first episode really laid a foundation of adventure, but this one um, really, again, following kind of that uh, that hero's journey by Joseph Campbell, um, the the archetypical story of that call to action. Um, it's so cool. It, it's it's neat seeing it presented in such a you know in in young adult fantasy. Now I know a lot of. Uh, young adult fantasy out there you know also kind of pertains to it but it, there's just something very classical about having something tied to uh the the greek mythologies with the greek gods and then also laying that classical archetypical uh, story of the hero's journey on top of that but then also given the modern you know twist of, uh, of a contemporary story set in our time. It's, um, there's a lot of just really cool things. I can see why people were um, really quite taken with the story when it came out. Again, I, I kind of just have to, you know, kick myself because I just missed it at every possible avenue uh, to get into the story that I could. But I'm really glad that I'm on this journey here with all of you. And I hope you're enjoying this journey as well. But. That's all we have for this time. I'll see you in next week's episode. This is Noxidar out.